this shoulder joint mobilization is probably going to work better for external rotation versus internal rotation. It probably has some effectiveness, effectiveness for internal anyhow. So feel where the bone is at the end off your collarbone and off your shoulder blade, okay? Because when you raise your arm, that's where you, just off the end of the bone, that's where you want to place your mobility band. I'm not using one because mine popped, so I'm using this instead, but you need to use a mobility band. Now, I don't care if this thing is anchored to the foot of your bed off the end or your door is over there and you shut it. I, for the purpose of this video, am gonna anchor it with my foot on the same side just for demo purposes. Now, you wanna be kind of closer to the edge of the table because if you feel pain on top when you try to externally rotate or internally rotate, this is gonna provide an inferior, an inferior joint mob pull on your shoulder joint. So if you're here, your elbow hangs at the crook, you want your shoulder to rest on the bed. If you're performing things like this, <laughs> that's not how you wanna go. So you wanna get flat, your head can be this way or this way, and then you want to have it just off the bone, pulling down, if you can move more into external rotation and you feel less here, then the mobility band is doing its job. So again, it's about this. If you wanna hang out here, you wanna add a little stretch, hang out, come down. Conversely, you could do your internal rotation. And again, what you wanna avoid is lifting off the table or shrugging up to your ear. You wanna just stay flat across move. You could rest your hand if you can achieve that range or hang out. The goal is that you can move more with less pinch or discomfort up here because it's achieving an inferior shoulder joint mobilization.